Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen how to bind the VIFN model to a custom component. Okay, if you haven't seen that video, please see that video, then only you can understand this one, or otherwise, you will not be able to understand. Fine. Now, if you try to see for the custom component, you have applied a VIFN model is equal to search text. So we have opened. We know that this VIFN model we can apply it only for the form input bindings. But here for a component also you can use it. So whenever you use it for a component, then what will happen in the custom input? So you can bind to an input element like value and at the update and you can send this one. By default, the props and also the emitter event will be appended to that one with the name static like model value and also update colon model value. So these are fixed. So these are all the things. Whenever you apply a VIFN model for this one, so this one is fixed. Now, for example, let's say that you have an another input element. Then if you want to send, uh, if you want to send another value, VIFN model, then how you can, how you, how can you send it? So you cannot send it, right? So then for this one, what we can do is, so we can attach a custom name uh, as an argument. So we can name, we can use the custom name. By default, VIFN model on a component uses the model value as the prop and also update model value as the event. We have seen it this one. We can modify these names passing an argument to the VIFN model. So how we can pass an argument here? Let's say I am using title. I can use the title here. So now this is the name of this one. And now if you go here, I can change it to title. And this one also model value also change it to title. So we are updating this one. So here title and here also we can change it to title. That's it. So we can pass this one like this. If you see the output, the same output, if you try to see it here, if I refresh this page, I hope this works. Not work. Yeah, it's working. If I try to change it, it's work as it is. But here what we have seen, but this time we are trying to send. We are, we are trying to send this one with then custom name like this. How it will be useful? So it is useful when we are trying to send multiple VIFN model bindings. So now how we can, how can we see that one multiple model bindings? I will try to show you. For example, let's say that in our component, I am taking one new component username, username dot view. This is our new component and I am using the template in this template. Let's say that I am having one view. We are having two input bindings. So input type is equal to text. We are having one text input type is equal to text. Let's say here we are having a text a placeholder is equal to first name. We are having this one as a first name and another one is last name. So these are the two things so we are having two input type is equal to text placeholder first name and the last name. And here we'll be having a script setup. So script setup and we'll be having a props. So we'll try to see about the props. First we'll say we'll use this one and let's go to the app.view. I will be commenting this custom input. We'll try to see this one afterwards and I'm using the username import username from components. Components what it is happening. So sometimes my system will become very slow. I don't know So components slash username dot view okay now let's go and use this username username like this i am using but we need to send the first name and last name so here i can have constant first name is equal to ref of leela i can use this one and constant last name is equal to ref of Web dev. I will be using it like this in order to promote our channel. So here, parent, we can use the first name. Sorry. We can use the first name and also I can use the last name. So parent, first name and last name, username. Now let's go into this username. So here we will try to use VIF and model. So we will be using like this the argument VIFN model first name is equal to first name and another one is VIFN model last name is equal to last name. So these are the two things 
now we have applied a modifier for asset sorry we have we have sent it now for a for in the username how can we see this one let's see the output yeah first name and last name we are able to see it right and now how we can do it so we know that we we are getting the props here so we will be getting the props here so what are the props we will be getting exactly what you decided what you thought is correct so constant props constant props is equal to define props of so when you want to use the props in the what i can say in the javascript only we will be using this variable if you are not using in the javascript means we can use it like, like this first name of type string so last name of type string so these are the two things we are getting why because we are using the arguments so these are not model value now i can have define emits or otherwise if you don't uh, use the define emits also it's not a problem and here i will be using something like value first name and the another one is value last name so i can use it directly like this and now when you want when you are trying to send the update so input is equal to dollar emit of update colon first name so we will be sending dollar event dot target dot value this is the thing we are sending and copy the same thing and let's paste for this one for the first name also here we need to use the last name sorry last name that's it so like this if you are having multiple vif and model bindings means like this we'll be using if you go and see the same output if you refresh this page we will be able to see leela web dev which is coming from the parent and if i change it here we are able to change the data so like this we will be using so this is how we can use the vif and model uh, what i can say uh, vif and model multiple bindings not only this one so before closing this i want to tell you another one is so for writing these all the things we are using like this right so what i can say we are using like this right these all things for example let's say that here we are having title and we are using this title and we are emitting like this we are using it right so we can also use something like so what i can say we can also use computer property also so we can use computer property also for this one let's see how we can use this computer property for example i will be closing this one okay and i am opening this custom input so this is our custom input model value and model value we are sending it and in the custom input we are using it with the title right okay let's try to use it model value update what is this one it's looking somewhat different no not this one yeah here yeah we have a model title we are sending it here instead of using this title what can we do is so what can i do is instead of using this one i can use another proper another computer property for example constant value is equal to computed i can use this computed property and what can i do here so get so we can we have the two things right getter property get and i can return return props dot title so i can return it like this so we will be getting props dot title and the get setter property what we can use it we can also use it. these are all things we have discussed in the computer property and here we can emit so as we are having these all emitter thing right so i need to place it at the top so that we can have this one so emit of we will be having update title and we can have something like value so we'll be getting the value always so here new value we will be getting new value while setting this one we'll get a new value and here i can update it so this is how we can use a computer property and now i can remove these all the things and i can use vif and model is equal to value that's it finish so this is also works the same way only i will show you console.log computed okay so console.log computed now if you see the output let's refresh it and the computer is not an thing let's inject this compute let's import this computer yeah if i go to the output here if i refresh this page let's refresh this page and hello leela web dev this and all we are able to see it right if i try to change computer on before updated this are we are able to exit it so the update title we are sending the new value yeah we are able to see this one all so we are using the computed value let's see that computed value is firing or not 
if I try to see this computed value, this one is not changing. Okay, I got it. I think maybe we are using some wrong one. Search text, okay. So here we need to use the search text. We are using first name and last name. Search text. That's it. So now if you try to see the output, now it will be changed according to this one. If I try to write it anything, it will change. So the, either way is okay. So if you want to use through the computed property, you can use it through the computed property in the custom input. If you want to change it to the update and all those things, symmetry event, if you want to fire, you can do it like this also. Either way is okay. So I so hope you understood about this comp component V model. And only one of the topic is missing. That is nothing but what I can say is modifier. If you try to use the modifier like capitalize or anything, so can we write the custom modifiers and all those things? Yes, we can write the custom modifiers. I will try to show it in the next video. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.